hello it's Colette welcome back to my channel and this is the first of a new playlist called monthly favorites I noticed um, in some of the other channels that I follow that there's a lot of interaction when people do their favorites for the month and although some of that is more like beauty or skincare or you know exercise or whatever um, it seems to get people talking and I thought well why don't I do some spiritual monthly favourites, if you see what I mean. Um, maybe things that I've reviewed in that month or I've used in that month and um, that I really, really, really liked. And um, I think it might be good. I don't know. Give me a thumbs up <laughs> if you like it. Um, again, it just introduces you more to myself, what's going on in my life and um, can maybe give you a few hints that you would enjoy yourself. So... Let's get started. Um, my favourite book for March was this one, Emma Oliver and the Song of Creation by Susan Elizabeth Hale. Um, it's a juvenile fiction book, but oh my God, it was so good. It's so shamanic, but it's a brilliant story about tree spirits and about uh, the environment and a wee girl that's a wee bit lost and how she gets to know um, some really nice tree spirits and how she maybe can save the great mother tree and therefore save the earth. So um, I just adored it for myself. As I said, I've put it in my bookcase for any grandchildren that may come along in the future because it's one that I would love to read to them or, you know, if they're of a certain age, they can read it themselves. So that was my favourite book and um, I'm going to reread it because it was just very, very special. Got the same feeling off it when I read my first Harry Potter book, you know, that sort of magical, oh my God, I like this. Uh, so that was that. Um, favourite oil this week, uh, uh, this month rather, um, is orange oil. Um, I adore this stuff. Um, I tend to use sweet orange oil. Um in winter and, and in a lot of my um, sort of potpourri cinnamon and stuff but this is this is a that seems to be sweet orange oil this is just plain orange I can't you know I've got my glasses on it but I can't see actually what it says under that sorry about that let's see if I can put it close up maybe the camera will pick it up Come on camera, you can do this. Yep. Ah, citrus. Cinnarus, I think. Yo. Um, but it's really nice. It's a wee bit more mandarin-like. You know, like mandarin oranges. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I've been using that to top up potpourri around about the house and really enjoying it. Now, another thing that was a lovely gift, um, I was uh, kind of finding that my round about my eyes was getting very dry um, when I was using my cellar water to take off my makeup. Um, and um, a very kind friend made me a facial wash to take my makeup off, and that's been delicious. It's a rose oil, um, and it just takes everything off and leaves your skin really, really hydrated. But she also popped in this for me, which is a beautiful uh, facial oil. It's um, called Crawford's Cauldron. Um, it's amazing face, rose hip and vitamin E facial oil with rose geranium and vanilla essential oils. Um, now, so once I've cleansed my face, uh, every second night I'm using this beautiful oil. I wish you could smell it, it's gorgeous. Um, also because of my Sjogren's, um, I need a lot of moisture and my hands have been drying out a lot. So I've just been, I know it's quite precious, but I've been using it on my hands as well and they've really been feeling better, particularly I've got little arthritic nodules and I've been rubbing it into them and it's just eased them a bit. So thank you, Sharon. This has been a lovely gift uh, in March to me. So thank you very much. So that's been my favourite um, book, my um, sort of aromatherapy oil, and this is my facial oil, which has been absolutely so hydrating. 
I'm still on the sort of smellies. Um, unfortunately, I'm coming to the end of my supply of my homemade um, soap. <laughs> uh, this is the rosemary soap I made in the run-up to Christmas. Um, it smells amazing. Oh, my God. I could eat it. Anybody that knows me knows that I adore rosemary. It kind of goes in everything. Uh, and because it's so very uplifting and also quite antiseptic to make soap with it, it was gorgeous. And a few people got some. Um, and that's all I've got left. So I'll have to be making it soon. But uh, it's just it's just gorgeous. The base uh, for this and colourants, the, the base is um, like parabens free sulfate free um it's a, a see-through base and i think i got it from mother nature's goodies website I, I get quite a lot from them actually and quite enjoy their stuff um so i think uh next month i'll have to be soap making and i do enjoy it but the house literally is you, if you walk in the house literally uh, it just attacks your senses. Jim walks about like, oh my god, she's making soap. But um, it's really nice to make your own soap because you know exactly what goes in it. And it actually saves a lot of money. I reckon um, I can probably make enough for gifts and enough for uh, two or three months out of um, what I buy probably for about £15 online. That's quite a lot of soap for that money. This isn't going back on, so I'll put that in there. Um, but it's something that you might want to have a wee think about, um, making your own soap, because um, apart from it being, you know, exactly what's going on, um, it's a lot of fun. And if you are kind of, you know, if you need your, your head taken away from maybe pain or whatever. To me, it's a bit like, you know how some people use colouring books and, uh, you know, like spiritual colouring books. Um, easy crafts like making soap are, are the thing that allows me to sort of tune out uh, for a while and it's really good. Um, the uh, this is my, it's all tugged up, uh, my favourite crystal this month has been citrine, which I've got in my little um, carrier. It's a beautiful crystal, quite intense. Um, I'd given this to my daughter for a wee while to wear and I, I got it back and I realised just how much of a favourite thing it is. Um, I tend to use this uh put this on when i maybe want to feel kind of a bit more upbeat and a wee bit more confident uh and you know sometimes if you've got the doctor or something you want to be able to speak out you want to be able to have a kind of more bubbly in your face kind of you know it's it's a kind of happy confidence that gives you and i've, I've used searching for that oh for years and years and years and i've various chunks about the house but this believe it or not was a wee carrier years ago that came with an avon order and it's never tarnished and it's never actually um been anything other than brilliant so it's worthwhile picking up things like that if you can particularly if you like to you know you can open it up and put in different crystals uh, so that's sitting um if you're looking for something that would give you a kind of slight joyful confidence uh that's not too in your face like hematite or something like that i suggest sitting so it's it's been a favorite it's always a favorite but um <laughs> Because it was away for a while and it came back, I, I realised, yes, it is a definite favourite. Um, I've got two more things for you. <clears throat> Every month I'm going to do a kind of guilty pleasure, which will probably not be that spiritual. Um, but I, again, it's about revisiting things this month. I've, this is the first month I've been off properly um, since making the decision not to do face-to-face -face readings for a while. And I'm going back visiting, um, doing a lot of meditations for my own life, for the way that I'm going forward with certain projects that are on. And although I love my tarot decks, sometimes I need to have a, a sense of, you know, maybe a different oracle deck. And I've had one for a long, long time. Um, and it's called the Lakota Sweat Lodge Cards. Um, and oh, I've had it 
very long time and the book is is so good you know it tells you what every car does um and what it means and various spreads i totally i mean i just use medicine wheel spreads all the time for this so um the background to my guide is lakota and uh, i understand a lot of the words and a lot of the the aspects of that form of any spirituality um, so I love this. The cards themselves are absolutely beautiful. Um, if you can see some of them, they, they vary from things like um, telling you, you know, about uh, water energy. And um, let's see, that's, oh, I think I've got them upside down. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, just to show you some of them, some that I like. This is a beautiful one, um, and it's, it's um, called Ishine, and it's moon time. How beautiful is that? It's absolutely gorgeous. And then we've got, obviously, the, the elements in them, like fire and earth um, and cloud. And let's see. Black and tan cook the spirit. Um, this the one I love, the grandmother one. I work with grandmother energies a lot now since obviously I'm through menopause, but um, old woman sorceress comes out a lot for me, <laughs> which is true. Cackle, cackle there. Uh, absolutely beautiful card. Um, just absolutely beautiful. This one's full wind and storm and it's you many. And my first Native American name was Quiet the Storm. And it, it goes to you many in this, uh, which is lovely. Um, I just, it's Thunder Beings card. Let's see. They're just gorgeous. Just a uh, grandmother. Aren't she? I mean, how pretty are they? There's so much symbolism, symbolism in them. Um, the backs of the cards are very pleasant as well. Um, again, I should show you them the right way up. <laughs> uh, so, as I say, I use tarot a lot, particularly Rorig, but um, sometimes for meditations where I want to go deep into my spiritual path, using the spiritual energies of my Lakota guide as guidance, then I will go to the Lakota Sweat Lodge cards, and I do adore them. Um, as you can see, they're, they're quite well used. Uh, so another guilty pleasure, which is more of a pamper one is I don't buy myself a lot of things but I do like my eye makeup and uh, my guilty pleasure this month has been Too Faced Sweet Peach um, eyeshadows. <laughs> um, I love the idea that you've not only got um, a lovely eyeshadows but they smell of peach because <laughs> I love peaches and I love smells. Um, sorry, scents, <laughs> not so much smells but you know what I mean. And, um, this will last me forever because I, I don't go through much and I don't keep a lot of makeup. I know what I like and, and that's that. But this was a real treat. And it was just something that um, part of March was a wee bit low. And I thought, you know, I need a wee treat. And I'll always find something cheaper on eBay. <laughs> so I did. Uh, and that's been that's been my pamper and my guilty secret. Uh, but I, I mean, I've always been straight down the line with... Um, Things that you can be um, very spiritual, you can walk your talk, but it doesn't mean that you know you can't um, enjoy your makeup and enjoy being pampered a little or whatever. Um, so that's my guilty pleasure. So I hope you've enjoyed that We one. It's just something that I fancy doing, and if you like it, give me the thumbs up. And also I'd like to know what your favourites were in the months uh, that were just through for March into kind of April, you know. Um, if you have maybe got a new oracle deck that you really liked, um, or you've pampered yourself with something, or maybe a friend has made you, you know, some nice oils or whatever, um, and just let me know, let's converse, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If at any time anybody wants me to review anything or whatever, just get in touch. 
Um, but I'm not doing it for that. So that sounds awful. But no, it's just that if I if I keep going with favourites, I'd probably run out of stuff in about four or five months. So I'm hoping, well, not really, because I do book reviews and I tend to have favourites in the book reviews I do. But yeah, as I say, um, it was nice to have some things sort of gifted and pamper things and things that I'd used in the past come back and revisit. So um, I did enjoy uh, giving you my wee March favourites. So I hope you've enjoyed it too. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you do. And I'll see you in the next few videos. Many blessings now. Bye.